this machine isn't just a machine you buy to get started, it's a machine you can buy to grow. Who will also grow with yes. the business. It'll grow with the business. And it may, if it gets too much, we've got plenty more machines to grow and further. So we can take it even bigger. Not a problem. I'm here with Brian to find out all about the offerings from Chester Machine Tools. So Brian, start me off. What are we looking at and what are we talking about first? Morning, Tom. Tom, this is a ZB32, the Briley ZB32. It's a drill grinder. And what we do with the drill grinder is it uses different cams on the back. So well, as normal, you can do your normal good drill grind points, but you can actually do different profiles on your, drill for, on your drills. So you can have either counter bores, counter sinks. You can also use on end mills. You can actually do the chamfers on the end mills and on taps and things like that. And it basically, you just set it up and it has the cams on there. You can see it just moves on time, but obviously you move it into the angle for your drill, both on the right and on the vertical. Now, do you think every machine shop should have one of these? Every machine shop that is using a lot of drills should get one of these. Because what I'm telling from this week, a lot of people are throwing drills away. Or they send them to be drill grind and it's taking and costing them money. Just buying one of these and putting them in the shop with some good training, they'll have a real good cost-effective way of getting rid of the drills. Now, I'm not going to lie, I wish I had one of these because the amount of times I caught my finger trying to dry, grind drills normally. But we'll move on. We'll move on. <laughs> so, bandsaw. Again, right. another machine that everybody has to have in a machine shop. Well, yeah, everybody has to have a bandsaw, don't they? We're putting in here, this is the SA230DL. So that takes up 230mm on a straight cut. But it's a double mitre, so you can do 45 degrees either way. You can also do 60 degrees. Semi-automatic, so basically when it comes down, stops the cut, it goes back up again. So it's useful on that, but you can also do it in manual operation if you don't want to do that and pull the bow up. So you've got that facility to do that. It doesn't have feed on it because it's just the standard kind of bandsaw that everybody should have in their workshop. And it's a very good size. You've done that to about, I think, about 45 degrees, about 120 mil. So it's quite good that way. And the thing is, there's not many bandsaws out there you see where you can actually do 30, 45 degree cuts as standard without you physically making your own blocks well, and it's, making it a bit dicey. Yeah, that's what's happened with somebody's bought one and he said, King bought a machine. And it's like, we want someone who just sets. This is, what, this is what you need, and it just does the job well. Yeah. And again, another offering from you guys that everybody should everybody need. Should and we're going to move Chester. on now to a favourite machine <laughs> I've... Uh, to be fair, this may be one of the most favourite machines I've seen at MAG, because it has, you've got... You've got <laughs> it, I'll tell you, it's, it's stopped everybody, because everybody thinks this is a DRO. It's, and I did. And you did, but it isn't. It's a drilling machine with a touch screen. It's brand new to this year. We put, we took it to some of Mac Mac machinery show, yeah, down south. Well, we brought it here as well because it's a new product. And basically, this is a touch screen. So instead of you kind of figuring out on Abbey where you want it to be, we can actually set the limit of where you want to go. So just clear it, put it in the depth you want to drill. We won't do 110 because we'll be here all day. Clear that. <laughs> Sorry, but we'll do set a limit, enter. And then all we have to do, switch it on, turn the spindle, pull this down, just touch. And there you go. see, it's dropping down. So that'll feed itself. That'll but, feed itself, and then when it gets to 50, it just drops straight back up. And it's beautiful for that. But there's also something else on here as well, which I was quite surprised about when you told me, but well, you can thing, tap. It does, it does got a tapping function. So what I'll do, and I'll, if I press the tapping function now, it'll actually spin back up because I stopped it. Well, you see on tapping function, you can't get that function because obviously you set the depth and then when it goes out, it goes into the auto reverse and goes up so you can actually feed it back up. So you pull it down, tips the bottom, goes into auto reverse and you pull it out. And obviously that must be a real time saver because you know, we've all been there, we've all broke a tap. Yeah. So you have to take the part off the machine, yeah. take it to your... Uh, your hole drill or whatever you've got to get the tap out, yep. then setting that back up on the machine is a nightmare when you could just stick and it on Another in. little feature, if you want to use it, you go into state, go into operating tree instructions and the manual's there. What more do you need? Exactly, right. And it does and have a powered table so you, can have, you don't have to screw it up, you've got powered on there. You're just making people lazy now, uh, Brian. No, no, You're just I'm making just, people I'm lazy. saving them, you know, need right. more energy. Surface grinder. Surface grinder. Again. Another machine. This is a brand new needs. machine. This literally is a brand new machine. Only came into our warehouse about two months ago. And it's our new range of surface grinders. Now we're going to our UHP range. 
ultra high precision. These are 1640, so you've got a meter table, 400 across. So you've got a good spread on there. And the beauty of that with the UHP, it has a ball screws on the Z axis, ball screw on the Y axis with servo motors. So now you've got control of both axes. The only thing for that is, we're using the seam and touchscreen control over there. You can actually set the actual limit you want to do on the left, on the rough grinding, but then you can do incremental steps down and set those incremental steps. And you can do the same when you want to do your fine grinding. Because let's be honest, normally on a surface grinder, it's a little hand wheel. Yeah. He's set at microns, yeah. but he's still you just, just using that edging and, across. And some do with a reader or some have a bit of display, but having this control on there using the Siemens function and the touch screen. Some arrive at time. Yeah. Now perfect. We've done drilling, we've done grinding. I think it's time we talk about traditional turning. I turning. was gonna say that, I'll leave that with you. <laughs> right, leave. <laughs> The Chieftain 2280. 2280 is the mid-range of the Chieftains. The Chieftains are what I call a backbone for the for lathes in, in when you want to turn. Good jobbing machines. This one actually has 560 swing. It has a two meter bed. You've got 105 millimeter spindle ball. So you've got quite a nice size spindle ball in there. Beauty of it has, has rapid travis as standard. So you've got that rapid travis on the joystick. And then if you want to foot in, you can pull it on, switch it on. Now we've got, just put the feed on, now we've got feed on the exercise, feed on the cross. Away you go. And you've still got, even when it's on feed, you've still got Vapi Travis. But is that, that to me is quite bespoke, because there's not many machines out there you see that has feed or rapid feed when it's not running. No. And the nice thing with it, the operator's got full control over it. He doesn't have to go anywhere else. It's all here. Now, as we're walking past it though, there is one thing I do want to mention, and it's always great to see on a job in life, is all the details you all would need to feet, run it. All yeah, to do your chap, you do your threads, he's all on there, your charts are at the full. That must help with, say, let's say you've got an apprentice. Instead of him constantly asking questions, he can find it himself. Yeah, just has to go to the full, look for it and find it. So now, is that? job in life. Yeah. Not a job in life. Production lathes. <laughs> Production right. lathe. Which means we're going CNC. Yeah? We all like going CNC. We all like going CNC. So, okay. the Hawk TC 200L. Right. TC, turning centre, 200L. means L means long bed. Right. Normally the bed of a standard 200 is about 483. This is 830 mil, so you've got a slight bit longer. All just, right. just a little bit. Yeah. Have you had an M there? You get live axes on your tools, so you get to live tooling. So that's how our designations, if people want to know on that. So essentially, that's not just the name, it tells you everything you, you need to know on the machine. So anybody, whatever this, this is the size it will be. All right, so you've got 200 mil, you've got 150 mil, you've got 350 mil, size of the chuck, yeah? Slam bed. Slam bed, eight station turret on there. And I think we need to talk about a little bit about the elephant in the room. The big play on the well, front. The big play on the front. I'd not noticed it, Brian. I don't know about you. Well, I think the, I think the colour gives it away a bit. Be shiny. This is your parts catcher. So you can run you can full parts production. Catching. So you can do full production on here and have the parts catcher on here. All so right? essentially, you could start off with this as a step up from your jobbing lay. Yeah. Yeah. And then when the work comes in and you want to run production, production, away you go. And as you're going to see now, we're actually producing something. We put on something this week, which is just a demo to show how you can collect. The hawk with the VL7s or the VL range to produce a component. Like well, I this. think you've nicely introduced the VL range <laughs> from there. We'll take that. And uh, I'd just like to say, Brian, that is an unreal finish. That has not been polished. That has come straight off the lathe. So the guys who've worked hard, our application guys have worked really hard and give us a real good finish on that. But it's not see. just the finish on that, it's the finish on the top as well. And you can actually see on there, they've actually done the engraving and put our castle logo in there. Really good. You, you do love your castle logo. Well, the castle logo, remember with the three toilets. <laughs> no more, three toilets. That's castle. Right, what are you going to tell me about the VL? VL7, vocal machining centre. This has got a 900 by 430 table on there. Uh, has on there, so we have 760 on the X, 450 on the Y, and 560 on the Z. 
10,000 RPM spindle, but you can go to 12,000 RPM if you wish. I think you're showing off. But I am. Siemens 8 to 8D Siemens 8 to 8D shot mill. I do you love can, shot mill. You can go fanatic if you want, you can go high, you will put anything you want on there. So what but you're we, saying is, this is customizable and yes. can be made bespoke for the customer. Exactly. You know, we don't dictate to the customer, we listen to the customer, we'll supply them what they want. It's great like that. When it comes to standard with our specification, because we thought, we'll just make a spec. We've listened to customers, and what we've put is what we think is okay for general work uh, for going straight into production. Through spindle coolant, you get a standard. You've got your coolant flush at the back. Nice thing with this, it's got slants at the back, so when you do that coolant spray, it throws all the coolant down. You've got your chip remover as normal. It also has an air conditioning unit and electrical cabinet, which means it's keeping your electrics cool. It'll run all day, all night. You're not going to have any problems about heat XT issues. So you've listened to the customers there who have, who want to take this machine and run production, but then worry that it's going to overheat. Yeah. Solve that problem. Yeah. Through spindle coolant is normally an added extra with not quite a price, yeah. quite a price increase. Yeah. Making it easier, more effective. Yeah. Wash down. Yep. Always a problem on production, yep. getting rid of the swarf and stopping yep. building up. Yeah. So having the machine really slanted means you don't need it to get in there with a brush. No. We've all done it. No, all done it. Now, just before we end, there's one more little thing I just want to talk about. All and right. it's <laughs> what else you can add to this machine. Stuck behind you. <laughs> I feel like I want a panto. It's behind you. Five axis table. A Lehman rotary table. All right. We actually, this can go up to five axis. So, so be prepared, ready to latch into Lehman tables. And that's standard with permanent. This is a permanent machine we, we, provide, we sell for permanent. And it, this is linked in with them because there's a link in. So this will actually go and do a five axis option on here. Which is a cracking deal. When you think of this, a small lathe, when you actually a small milling machine lathe, small milling machine, you can now do five axis work on there. And like you said, that comes already implemented into the machine so there's no pricey retrofit there's no long down times no it's kind of, of that retrofit it's ready prepared to take all the connections so yes you've got to pay for the installation of that but you don't have to pay for the actual installation the upgrade on the software on the but i'm uh, guessing if i bought this machine now yeah and then in six months time i went oh i could really do with that table i could then buy the table and add it on Without the worry of you having to take half the control to be and start drilling holes in my machine. Start, and well, it's not so much that, but it's also he's putting all the, the connections in it. He's putting all the electrical software in there that you need to do the connection from that. So, yeah, you're right. He's ready prepared. So, brilliant for a customer. They can expand without going too far. So, they can, this can actually give you three, or oh, sorry, four or five axis machining if that's what you want to go to. And I think that's a great way to finish is to say that. This machine isn't just a machine you buy to get started. It's a machine you can buy to grow, who will also grow with yes. the business. It'll grow with the business. And if it, it gets too much, we've got plenty more machines to grow further. So we can take it even bigger. Not a problem. Mm -hmm.